Hello everybody, I am back with another video. This is part five of the journal workshop series. And in this video, I thought it would be fun to do some collaging and introduce some vellum stickers and just kind of work on some envelopes and add some elements to our signature page. So let's go ahead, have some fun, and let's get started on collaging our envelopes. In the kit, my mom had put in some airmail envelopes, and so I'm going to be working with some of these and then some of the envelopes from the kit. What I did is I just kind of took it apart and cut off this one edge here because I want to create a flap where the envelope opens up like this is what I'm thinking. And then I'm just going to have it, uh, I think I'm just going to have this bottom create some sort of little tuck spot here and just kind of do something a little different. I don't know what exactly, but we'll see, we'll see what happens. So one of the things that I created is I made some of these vellum stickers and I will have the digital link below and the information on where you can purchase these vellum sticker sheets. And I, I will have some of these available for purchase and these are wonderful uh, in that you could use these on pretty much anything. I mean, they would go with a lot of, I mean, whatever journal pages you might be creating. And so these I think I'm going to use in decorating my envelope here. So I will have the information on where you can get the digital and where you can purchase the sticker sheets from my site. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started here. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to start with this ephemera piece from the digital kit from Mom with Love. And I'm thinking I might place that maybe up there like so. This one might be kind of neat. Just kind of place it all down here first to make sure I like it. And then I took some of my smaller ephemera and I put it in one of these tins. And I got these tins at the Dollar Tree. And I'm going to purchase more of these because these are actually really nice for holding some of your smaller ephemera pieces. And I might create a label for the top. So, you know, for each one of my collections, I can kind of sort all my smaller ephemera in these tins. And I think I might use one of these. What else do I have in here? This might work kind of neat on the end there. instead you work it this way oh I forgot I had this I had this left over from the front cover this was uh, part of that vellum piece and I just kind of cut off some of the rougher edges and so I might use this too. Okay, so I think I'm going to work with those pieces. I think the first thing that I'm going to do is use my splatters stencil. I use this all the time. <laughs> it's just a great stencil to have on hand because it just, you know, it gives that little bit of grunge 
and distressed look that you know works with pretty much anything and everything. I think that's good. I'm going to use my postcard, my background postcard stamp. I just want to have a little bit of script or something in the background and I probably will end up covering a lot of this. You know, you could use a script stencil or whatever stamp you might have on hand. You could collage on uh, some some printed script or something like that. This I'm going to glue down, so I don't really have to worry about decorating this side of the envelope. But. We're just going to go ahead and I think I'm going to glue that down. Cut it to size though. And I want to leave that airmail strip showing. So And then I have this. I think I'm going to take some gesso paint and just kind of brighten this up because I want this to show through. So I'm going to just apply a little bit of gesso right through here. look because I can always yeah I love those stickers those turned out <laughs> really cool I like that. I'm going to go ahead and glue that down. Maybe just kind of stick that down there. Yeah, we'll do that. In the kit, my mom included some of these blank receipts. I'm thinking of just cutting off this top part and putting it there. I might just use the number.
know what I'm going to do? I'm going to take my gesso again and I'm going to just cover this little section here and I'm going to cover it with something. I don't know what yet, but I just don't like that part. And this extra butterfly I think is kind of throwing me off. So we're just going to go over it. this larger font. I think I might do that. this number here that I cut out. Stick that up there maybe. Right here. And I think I'm going to just kind of go along here.
Okay, and then I just have these little spaces here, and I'm just going to go and add in something. <laughs> I don't know what, like number seven maybe, because I love the number seven. And we could put... Uh, I'm gonna put September ninth. Okay, so I'm just going to write ETC here. We have one envelope done. So we will be adding our envelope in there somewhere. So we can go ahead and let's do another envelope. And this time I'm just going to use an envelope like this. Now this one again, I think we're going to have it so it's going to flip it this way. And then I'll probably put something in there. So let's figure this out. Let me just do like a closure like so, something like that. All right. I have these receipts here. And I'm thinking that these might be fun to kind of collage with. I think I'm going to use this one here. I think I want the stamp, so I'm going to go ahead and just cut the stamp out. I'm going to use my postcard background stamp again. This is just a good stamp <laughs> for washi tape. Uh, just if you want something that kind of has that postmark script look to it. And then, you know, it's got the butterflies, which I love. And so this stamp just comes in handy for a lot of different things.
And then I'm going to do my envelope again. Just kind of give it that coffee stained look here. Okay, so I got that all distressed up there. Kind of got a little grungy. I'm thinking I'm going to put this on the bottom. And then we have these little pieces that we cut out from the receipt. And I'm just going to figure out how I want to lay these all down. Okay, so I kind of have an idea of, I think, what I want to do here. I was kind of playing around <laughs> off camera. I think I have an idea, and I'm going to start with this receipt that we have left over, and I'm going to just cut down that line there so I just have an edge of this. And I'm going to put that, I think, right on that edge there. So I'm going to go ahead and glue this down. And I think I'm going to put this number kind of right there. I'm going to use one of those film stickers that I made. Next. Of course, let's say I think I want this to go under that. I thought it'd be kind of nice. I was thinking with this receipt and you know how it has the lines, it would be a nice area to do some journal journaling possibly and just kind of, you know, add that personalized touch to our collaged envelope here. But again, when you're watching this, you can you maybe pick up some ideas and think, oh, I don't have this, but I have some printed paper or I have some fabric or I have something else that I might want to use, you know, if you don't have exactly what I have that I'm showing here. And I've really been enjoying working with vellum. I printed a sheet of the ephemera on vellum and I just love the look. I like how the envelope with the you know the distress oxide stenciling that I did kind of comes through and I'm going to go ahead and glue this down and when you're doing your collage don't be afraid to overlap your images 
Uh, that's one of the secrets to collaging, and it's what makes it, I think, so much fun, is just kind of playing around with all of these images. I have my name. I put my name in my stamp, <laughs> and I actually want that to show, so I'm going to cut that right there, and I'm going to probably put that right up there. So I'm thinking, maybe do that right there, and then I have this space here, so I could do this. Dream of joy, I have this number. right there. What do I want to put there? Place. going on the edge there. That's all I put there. And then I think I'm going to put this Balm sticker. I am loving, oh, I am so loving these Balm stickers. Butterfly going like so. And then I got my stamp. I'm just going to put this little piece of trim right here in this space. I think I'm going to go ahead and put this piece of lace right there. like that there. So I'm using every little piece of trim here, scrap trim. Alright, I'm going to put the butterfly. 
by there. Okay, so I think for this section here, I'm going to take, this is one of my bad printouts. I, my toner was running out and the bottom part is kind of just all blurred. So I'm just going to kind of figure out where I want to cut this. I don't think the bottom part is really going to show that much, so I don't think it'll matter all that much. Because I'm going to try to tuck it underneath the butterfly there. Okay. And I'm going to glue this, I think, right in between there, like so. Put this little dab of trim on the butterfly and glue these down, these wings down. And here I'm just taking one of the vellum stickers that had the journey sentiment on it and cutting out some of the text from that vellum sticker that I did. So I think on this flap here what I might do is I took some of that masking tape and I believe in a previous video, I don't even remember now, but I think in one of the previous parts of the workshop I had taken some masking tape and I stamped on it to see if I could make some homemade washi tape and I had to where it worked, but I had to let it sit for like 20 minutes because the ink was smudging. So I thought what I would do is try it again, and I laid down masking tape, and then I applied a coat of gesso over it and let the gesso dry, and then stamped on it. And so I'm gonna see how, you know, see if this works. And I have it down on some wax paper Hoping that it'll pull up easy here. I might just stick it there. I think I like that. I just use this little piece over here.
I thought this would look kind of neat on the end of the envelope there. So we put it like so, and then we put that like that, which I like. Now, I might grab some of my metal brads just to introduce a little bit of metal and then I have another, you know, added texture there. So I'm going to go get my brads, I think, and punch two holes and attach that. I printed this on 110 pound cardstock. And as far as, you know, reinforcing it, making sure it's nice and durable, I'm going to have it laid mostly on the flap of my envelope. So you know, it'll have that support from the envelope, but then the bottom section, I'm going to lay down that trim. So, not too worried about um, it being too flimsy. So what I'm going to do here is lay it down where I want it on my envelope. I think right about there. And I have my smaller hole punch. Just kind of want to make sure I'm in the center. And then I found these tiny little gold brads. Now, I like to go to Michael's and check their sections, their brad sections, because every once in a while you'll see they have them on clearance and you can pick them up for what well, used to be like 99 cents or so. Finish it with just this little bit of trim that I had left over. When you're doing these envelopes, again, it's a great way to use your scraps up. I think we will call that good with that envelope. So we have two envelopes here that we've done. And like I said, you can do your envelopes whichever way. You might you might get a different idea. Uh, like I said, you might want to play around with some fabrics and add those in. I think that it's going to be incorporated into our journal nicely. I like the look that we have going on so far. So we have some elements that we'll be able to add to our signatures. And I think I'd like to do at least one more, one more envelope. So I'm going to grab the kit. Let's see what we have here, what we can work with. There's this music sheet paper, which might be fun to collage with. Hmm, I don't think I want to use the headline though. Slaughter on 10th Avenue. <laughs> uh, it's from uh, Intriguing Modern Ballet, but yeah, not really. I might use some of these other words, like <laughs> maybe we could take and rearrange the letters and create a word um, like there's laugh in there. I might use the, the laugh and put the S on the end. Do something like that. 
That might be kind of fun. So I'm going to use this piano sheet here from the kit, from my mom's physical kit. We have these two pieces that I might work with here. So we'll make a journal card with this. And, you know, if you didn't have a chance to get one of the physical kits from my mom and you're following along, you could pull out um, old birthday cards or Christmas cards or whatever cards you might have that, you know, you're not quite sure what to do with them. And then you could just keep the sentiment that's inside the card. You know, an invitation would work as well. Um, or you could just use any sort of bills. I know a lot of times my husband and I, we get those card they're, they're made of card stock and they're for like credit card offers or things like that. So you could use something like that from your mail um, if you don't have this. I have this leftover piece that I didn't use um, all of. So I might take and use a uh, little bit of this. And then of course I have my stickers, my vellum stickers. So I think what I'm going to do is just kind of tear a section here on the end. And maybe put that there. I would kind of like that black edge there. Which I might use on that, on this edge. So get my and then the music. a little piece of it. So I'm going to just cut a little itsy bitsy piece. Okay, so what I did is I went ahead and I created a whole other sheet of paper dolls. Now this kind of ties in with the labels that I had done. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a few more things I think. Maybe some um, receipts and things that I have in my personal collection and put that as a mini kit and just put it at a huge discount. And I just wanted to make sure that you can have all these wonderful things to work with when we're doing this collection, I mean, when we're doing this workshop and the next workshop because the physical kit that my mom did was enough for two journals. So I'm gonna be doing this journal and another journal workshop after this. So you'll have a lot to work with. And one of the things, as you can see, that I like to do when I'm creating everything is I love to have lots of ephemera to work with. And one of the images that I really like that I thought I could use on this card is this one of my mom here. Let me turn it around so you can see it going the right way, but I like this one here. She's got a birthday cake in front of her. I kind of like the expression on her face. It's kind of like she's sitting there um, thinking about something. And so, uh, I'm going to use this and then I kind of like these words, dream of joy. So I think that's the direction that I'm going to go. And I'm just going to go ahead and cut her out. I like this uh, smaller one and I did a bigger one too. So if you want to do cards or something like that. 
And these pictures, when I did them, you know, I had to add on a foot because <laughs> uh, the, the original picture is, um, you know, it cuts her foot off and I had to add her hair up here. And then there was, I think, her brother reaching across her leg. So I had to do a little bit of my own artwork here on my mom to <laughs> make it look, um, you know, for this, this paper doll. Now I'm thinking it might look kind of cute with, you know, I'm going to get a butterfly. I'm going to make her into a little fairy. Do another fairy one here. I like that. Let's see. I have this blue butterfly, which I like that one. I'm just going to go ahead and we're going to use that one. Okay, so let's start putting this together here a little bit. I'm going to use this part. I know last year we went camping around this time and it was so nice. And then it got really cold and I left back for Phoenix. However, um, we're thinking come January, February, we might head back to Phoenix, Tucson and catch up with some friends. And I know I have some people that reach out to me and they're like, we're really going to miss you here in Phoenix. So I might try to uh, catch up with some of them as well. Okay, I'm going to kind of tear out this section here where I want to put the stamp, I'm thinking. And then I can use this on something else. I'm going to have her and Mama right there. I have the music paper going there. I know I wanted that sentiment, that dream of joy, so I'm going to go ahead and just cut that out. You know, I might just take another receipt again and just cut these uh, numbers out and just this top section. Do that again. So I just need a little something there that introduces more, you know, the white. Because I have white here, white there. Yeah. That's, I like that. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and shape around my flowers here. I think I might actually tear off this. So the next piece would have to be this, and I'm gonna, I don't wanna waste all this. I'm gonna tear this a little more, because I think I can use this in something else. So I'm gonna go ahead and glue this down, this piece. Okay. So I have that, and now I need to do the flowers. I think I'm going to distress that. 
edge there a little bit. Let my husband go over and tell the next door neighbors. It's the only thing. I love my neighbors, but oh, the dogs are insane. Okay, might go right about there, I'm thinking. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and just stick a dab of glue in the back here to hold this wing in place. Yeah, I'm just gonna add a dab of glue there and leave it kind of loose. I don't wanna glue it totally flat, I don't think, not on this one. And then this, we're gonna put um, I'm going to put that right there. Yep, I like that. Like, oh, that's right, I had this that I was going to use. Okay, I think I'm going to take just this piece of scrap muslin that I have and try to fray it up here a little bit on the edges. I'm going to see if I can find some white lace trim. Oh wait, is that white? Nope. First, just got a paper doily. I haven't used these in a while. I think I might do that. Okay, so I'm going to cut this in half. I think I might just slide that right there. Just going to uh, lightly Lightly distress it. I should have just distressed some of these edges, so I'm gonna just, um, before I glued it down, so I'm just gonna pull little areas here and there. Maybe just really light. 
like the my mom's dress section. This is all I just I didn't want to do the cake that way. Just kind of just on her dress is all. Color it in a little bit there. I think that's all it needed was just that little bit. And then this can go like so. So glad I didn't glue the whole thing down. And that's another reason why I say, you know, you could always just add a little dab of glue here and there to kind of place things but not, necess not necessarily glue it all the way down because you might end up, like I did, deciding to put something behind there. Okay, and then I just need to... Well, you know what I'll do is I'm just going to do a dot of glue there and there. And then I'm going to just bend that middle section a little bit. And it will go like this. And then it kind of sticks up a little bit instead of using a pop pop up there. There. This we will stick right there. And so I'm going to glue this bottom section onto the back of the envelope there. I want to make sure that my flap is out of the way. And then we'll glue this right on there. Okay, so one added thing I'm going to do, I was kind of playing along here and where I distressed, I just took my white pen and I'm just drawing what looks kind of like lace down on here and uh, just having some fun um, adding in that little bit of extra detail there. Uh, I got a little too dark with my... Um, distressing there, so this is how I'm going to kind of give it this lacy texture look here. And then, of course, I want that strap, which should be going right there. Just that little bit of uh, added detail there. And then I might take and just do a little lace right down here as well. Kind of really like that. So what I might do is kind of distress it a little more right down there, 
little more so I can, you know, get a little darker color there. Oops. Went down a little too far. I might have to take some gesso and kind of fix that because I didn't want it down on my cake there. But I'll show you here again what I'm kind of doing. So I'm just taking my white pen and I'm just kind of going up and down and kind of like a little figure eights, half figure eights. Little scribbly lines. That's all I'm doing. Just to kind of give this illusion of lace being there. And then right where I goofed, I'm just going to apply a little bit of gesso to kind of cover up my mess that I did there. might kind of give a little texture too of like frosting or something. I might actually kind of just glop it on there. Really add that texture, make it look like it's cake <laughs> frosting. Now you don't have to do this. <laughs> this is just if you want to take it to the next level and, you know, really make things stand out. Okay, so I'm just going to take my pencil here and I'm just going to give a little bit of a shadow here. I'm just using my eraser to kind of just blend that a little bit. There. And I think that is good. Okay, so we have our three envelopes that we did here and I like them. I think they turned out really cute. These are just, I think, so much fun to do uh, if you like to do collage, you know. Um, 
just taking your scraps, your scraps of paper, scraps of trim, whatever it might be that you you have on hand and just finding ways to incorporate it into your collage. I think it's so much fun. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, please let me know and I hope to catch you back with part, let's see, this is part five, right? Or part four, part five, part six. We'll be doing part six, I think. Five or six. <laughs> So uh, thank you so much for watching.